Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. Iron Michael Chow. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of. 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. anything resembling a ground weakness on either side when you break down the floor. There are no weaknesses in these games. Whoa! Oh, straight right! Oh, big left hook there! Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Choi gets hit with a kick, but that one appeared to land flush. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Choi's got the tie clinch now. And they separate. All right, single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with a four. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice jab. Dig and kick. Looks like.
Mikey clipped him with a left hand counter there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice one two there. And they separate. Nice right. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Ooh. He just starts up in the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That was a jab. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, single collar tie here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice. Wow. Oh. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Won't finish his fight. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. What an end to round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. from landing one of those big right hands. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Choi shot there is blocked. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now connects with a right. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. When you're in the clinch, you go to the body. That's the best thing. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Oh, nice, nice. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy oh. is unbelievable. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big leg kick land. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Whoa! He's out! He's done, he's done! Woo! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win.
go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 56 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party today. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.